Okay, in my last tutorial I showed you how to manipulate tweens using external classes in ActionScript 3. And what I'm going to do right now is show you how to use this usefully so that you can actually create you know, elegant projects. And we have our movie clip and the instance is MC underscore tween. Nothing's changed there. But what we want to do is move it over here so that essentially you could create buttons and we want this to tween out here and maybe create a bigger display so that you can put pictures or text inside here and then when you click on it it makes it bigger and comes out at you so we're gonna go to our actions layer and here's all the action script that we wrote before and what I want to do is manipulate the z-axis which is depth so that it actually pops out at you so we're gonna we're going to add it. We're going to hit Z axis. And then we'll make it, by default, it's already at zero. So we want it to come out at us. So we'll do, um, we'll do negative 200. And we'll change the X to 200 so it doesn't go too far over. Now we should be able to run this. And we'll be able to see it pop out at us and, and do the elastic tween. So hit Control Enter and now we'll click on it and there it is it's bigger and it tweened now I'm going to show you how to park your movie clip once you've activated the first tween so I'm going to show you what we did last time we created the mouse event and we had it zoom with a z-axis of negative 200. And once you display this, you might want to call another button, so we want to park this. Right now, if you click on it again, it doesn't do anything. And you might want to change your display. So I'm going to show you how to do that. What we're going to do is go to our Actions layer again, open the Actions frame. And as you can see, there's no action script telling it to go back. So we're going to create that now. So we need to add another event listener that said that asks did you click it did you click it did you click it but we don't want to know that until after the display has happened we don't want to know if you've done the second click until after the first click so once it's up here so inside that first fun function we're gonna add another event listener so I just what I did I, I copied this event and I'm gonna paste it down here So there's a duplicate event listener, but we don't want this event to call this function, tween function. We want it to call a different function. So we're going to label this one tween out function. Now once you click the movie clip, once you click the movie clip after you've already had it zoom, you'll be able to call this event listener. And we need a function called tween out function, so I'm just going to copy this function and we'll paste it while I rewrite the code and we need to remove the event listener and simply change the name of the function now when you click it again it'll call this function after it's been called by this function but we don't want it to go to the x-axis y-axis and z-axis of the first function so what we're going to do is we're going to change it to its native position which was uh, the X was 487 and the Y was 190 and the Z was 0 and once again it's going to do the elastic keys out so once you click it the first time it's going to come out, out at you then it's going to listen for an event and then if that event if the mouse click happens it's going to call the second function which is going to bring it to X, X487 Y190 and Z0 so now let's try this there's our first click came out at us and we want to park it there's the second click and we parked it so you can see how this could be useful if you had three more buttons here once you click this one it'll come out it'll come back and then you can have three more buttons and when you click that one it'll come out and go back and what we should do is probably add another event listener so that you can do this multiple times. So we'll, we'll take the first 
event listener and we'll paste it down here so that once the second one is clicked and it's parked you'll be able to do it again so let's try it first click second click and lastly I'm going to show you how to put everything together so that you can have a fully functioning button right here so we're going to open our actions layer and what happens now is when we call this event listener it goes to this function but it won't be able to go back to its its original state so I'll show you what I'm talking about when you click on it it goes out and then you click on it again we told it to go back but we didn't tell it how to come back out so I'm gonna show you the action script for that and what we simply need to do is we need to remove this event listener once the second click is called so I'm just gonna copy that event listener hit paste and we're gonna change this from add to remove because what's happening is we we created the event listener and because we created the event listener it's this event listener tween out function is overriding the tween function so when we call the tween out function it's gonna go to its, its native position which it's already in so we want to remove that event listener and we'll take a look at that and see what happens so we'll click it once it comes out click it again goes back click it again comes out and now you have a fully functioning button and you could just keep doing that all day long and I'm going to show you one more useful tip because normally when you mouse over a button it changes the mouse so we're going to say movie, movie clip tween dot button mode equals true and what that does is it gives us the hand cursor on our button